Well, I say we don't make this a big thing and we just get right into it. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Tyler James. I will be your host on today's adventure. My name is Tyler James. Thank you for joining us. Continuing the year of collared shirts, today I am sporting the all black collared shirt and even added a little tie for dramatic fashion. Because today is a very important episode. I know I say that a lot, but this time I mean it, okay? This time I really mean it today. Today, today is the, is end. the end. The end is here, everyone. But we do have a few things to go over and let me just grab the little notes here from the non-existent desk that I was supposed to add to the Tea Time set, but never did. Uh, if you're curious about what in the heck I'm talking about, revert to the previous episode, episode 10, one of my most favorite episodes of Tea Time. Check it out. I'll put the link in the description because why not? Uh, but we got, uh, I'm gonna start off with a little personal fitness journey story here in lockdown and try and share with you all a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about what to watch, what I'm watching, give some reviews, and talk about what's on the TV. And then we'll get into the end. That's right, you heard correctly. It's the end of tea time, everyone. But before I get into any of that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Welcome back to this beautiful show about nothing. I would like to say again, thank you to everyone who supports the channel, who supports the Tea Time, who hits that like button, leaves comments so that we can talk to each other in the comment section down below. Thank you for being here and thank you for your continued support. If you are new to the channel, click subscribe, join the pack, become a rebel. Now let's kick things off by going to our correspondent out in the field, James, James Tyler, how is the weather out there? Yeah. We've been working here like six months already. That doesn't even remember my name. I got him coffee. Hundreds of times, I guys remember. Tyler, yes, as you can see, the weather out here is pretty awesome. Uh, thank you, James, excellent reporting as usual. Fantastic job. All right, I'd like to open up a little bit and uh, share with you all a little bit of my fitness journey here in lockdown. A lot of people follow me for my fitness on my other social medias. So when lockdowns happened and months had gone by without the gym, I did lose six pounds of muscle mass just like that. And the journey back has been incredibly difficult. It's climbing a mountain. Fitness is about always climbing a mountain. All right, it's always gonna be tough. You're always gonna be reaching for that next stone and that mountain just keeps on growing. You know, there is no, there's no top, there's no peak. So for me, after a few months of being out of the gym, I did finally get a private gym that opened up that I was able to start lifting and training in again. And it was a difficult journey. Gotta ease back into it slowly so that you don't injure yourself, which I did numerous times. I injured my lower back pretty bad and have been still trying to come back from that. So I just wanted to give you all a little bit of a personal look into my world um, to talk about my, my, my real story, the real story of how it's not always easy, it's not always fun in games, that it was, a, it was a difficult journey to try and get back. All right, let's quickly talk about what to watch. Things that I'm watching that I wanna share with you all and I'm also encouraging you to drop some suggestions in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you thought of these things if you watched them. All right, first thing on the agenda, Tenet. Theaters are back, everyone. Theaters are starting to open up back out in the world, and Tenet is supposed to be the big summer blockbuster. Now, I have been very much looking forward to watching Tenet. Um, I have not gone back to the theaters. I don't know how I feel about 
joining the public just quite yet. But theaters are open and Tenant is there for you to watch. Looks like all the other big producers are pushing their movies. Um, judging by what happened with the money that was coming in or lack thereof from Tenant. So everyone's kind of pushing things. Looks like the next big blockbuster might be the 007 movie. But in other things, we got Mulan. Mulan has joined Disney Plus. You can purchase it, I think, for $30. I have not watched it yet. So let me know if you have watched it, what you think about it. I believe if you wait until December, it's going to be free on Disney Plus. Just a tip, just a little tip for you all. Since I'm talking about things that I haven't watched, let's go ahead and get into Mandalorian season two has been announced. The trailer does look pretty awesome. And I am pretty excited for season two. And I believe they already have agreed to start production or roll right into season three. So we got a lot of Mandalorian stuff coming out. Now what I have watched, Enola Holmes. Now I did enjoy watching this. Enola Holmes is the younger sister of Sherlock and Mycroft, and uh, that's played by Millie Bobby Brown, who's freaking awesome. So I did enjoy this show, movie, it was a movie, Netflix movie, you can check it out on Netflix. I did enjoy it, I do give it a high rating. I believe it's 88% on the tomatoes, so go check that out if you're into a different take on the Sherlock Holmes Enola family tree. One of my hairs just dropped down in front of me. The next thing that I would like to talk about is The Boys season two. If you are looking for things to watch, check out The Boys. Now I'm a little particular to The Boys on Amazon because when season one was about to come out, I was hired to go be a promotional person at one of their events. And it was really awesome. They they did it all up in like a butcher shop and there was all like Halloween blood guts and gore and all sorts of things. So I had a really good time with that promotion. So like I have a little soft spot somewhere around here. So I watched all of season one and I enjoyed it. If you like guts, gore, superheroes. And season two is streaming now. I think we're on episode six currently by the time I'm filming this. I don't know when you'll get this, but I think season, episode six just came out and uh, I'm enjoying it. So go check it out. Go check out the boys if you want to see something like that. I think that's all I have for uh, the shows, the TVs and the movies. I think that's all I got there. But also sports are back, everyone. Sporting events are back. The NBA went inside the bubble for over 80 days. I think they're at 80 days right now. The Denver Nuggets, very surprising. Very surprising, big comebacks down three games to one in two series in a row. I thought the Clippers were going to be facing the Lakers, but it didn't happen. And football, football is back on television. Sundays, Monday nights, Sunday nights. It's glorious. I am quite enjoying having football back. It's really just comforting to me. You know, it's very comforting after everything that's been going on in the world to be able to see sports, something that I've been looking forward to and hoping that wasn't going to be canceled. To see that and be able to watch that um, and relax, take my mind off things for a minute. So I'm really glad that sports are back. Thank you to the athletes who are putting in all that extra precautions and extra time to make sure that things are safe. All the staff um, that is working on everyone's safety. Thank you to everyone out there to be able to bring this to us all to watch. And now, if you've made it this far, before I get into the meat and potatoes, if you made it this far, the true fans would have watched this far, go ahead and put a, because uh, this is our secret message, secret message dropping right now, go ahead and put a teacup or a coffee cup and some form of smiley face in the comments section down below, and I will see who the true fans are who have watched this video thus far. To you, I say cheers and I thank you. All right, now let's talk about the end of tea time, everyone. I'm moving, all right? I am relocating and there may possibly be no more tea time. There will be no more of this set. This is the last time we're going to be seeing this beautiful set here of tea time because I'm gonna be losing the studio. The studio is gonna be going away. I'm moving to a different place that does not have a studio capability. I tell you, finding a place 
in these times, this wild time that we're living in, was a little stressful. Looking for a new place is going to be stressful regardless of the time. You know, you always wanna be making the right decision. You feel like they're very permanent decisions. You want everything to be just right, you know what I mean? You gotta have the lighting, gotta have good lighting, have the lighting be right. You want the floor plan to be good. You want it to be spacious. Uh, you want the community to be good. Uh, so there's a lot to look into. The place that I was living in currently is uh, was a little bit of a cave. It's a little bit like underground a little bit, so you don't really get much sunlight. And I've been here for many years and actually came to this place from being homeless. So it was a great blessing to be able to get into this place. And it's been an amazing few years. I got to I got to thank the community and, and I'm grateful for being here. Obviously grateful for not living in my car, uh, but it's time to to bloom, if I may. It's time to blossom a little bit, move on to the next chapter. And so that's why I'm relocating. But sadly, that means the end of this set. So if you'll all join me, please join me in a moment of silence for the end of this tea time. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Hopefully we will find a way to persevere and create something new in a new space. But until then, this brings us to the end, everyone. This brings us to the glorious end of Tea Time. Thank you for joining me on episode 11. If you are new, again, please click subscribe, support the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment down below so algorithms can play my videos to other people. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Hopefully, hopefully in this new space, I'll be able to have a better creative mindset and I'll be able to create more things again. Hopefully the world starts to go back to some sense of normalcy and we can move on. Persevere and keep moving forward. So until then, until the next time, I'll see you all out there. Take care of each other. Be kind, be kind. This is a, like I said, a very wild time, and it's very important now for us to be kind to our neighbors. So keep that in mind and be safe. I'll see you all very soon. Cheers. You know, I really am going to miss that weather guy. What was his name again?